uh, welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my making adventures. Today I just have knitting to share with you. It is, what is the date today? It is April 4th. It is 7.50 a.m. It is so early. We'll talk in life stuff later about why I'm recording so early in the morning, <laughs> but I hope that you all are doing well. I am ready to jump in and share all the things. I have two finished objects to share with you today, a couple of works in progress, some things that arrived in the mail, and we also have a giveaway winner to announce. Oh, and I have my March stats to share with you. Let me go and grab that book because we're going to do that first. <laughs> so that I don't forget. Before we jump in with the stats, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as The Crazy Sock Lady. I will have links right down below this video for everywhere that you can find me as well as links for any project pages, for things that I'll show you, shops that I talk about. All of that's right down below in the description box. So let's get started. I hope you've got something to drink. I've got some coffee, of course. <laughs> Maybe you've got something to work on. Maybe you're doing some housework, whatever you're doing. I hope you're ready to catch up for just a bit. All right, so March stats. I'm keeping track in just a basic old notebook here <laughs> of how many projects I complete, grams in, grams out, all that stuff. So I did, before we start, I want to make sure I note that I did, for some reason, I was not tracking the yarn that's going into Wyatt's sweater, like in the month that I work it up in. So I went through, figured out how many skeins I have used so far. I've been keeping the tags. I've used seven so far, which is kind of crazy. And, um, kind of divided it up between the months this year. So that is now being tracked. So I did adjust my grams for January and February, not by much. Um, I think I only figured that I probably used, how much, where did I break that? I think I probably only used one in January, if that. Um, so they didn't get adjusted by too much, but I did adjust to those numbers just a bit to make sure that I was tracking that. And now I'm gonna keep track of what I actually use in a month. I don't know why I was not counting that. So March, move these over here. I've got some post-its in here <laughs> that I'm keeping track of some things. So for the month of March, my grams in was 1,140 grams. It was a big month. <laughs> grams out was 1,170.05 grams. I just barely had more out than in. Ooh, I tried so hard. <laughs> I completed six pairs of socks. I added nine squares to my cozy memories. I completed one blanket, which was the baby blanket. Six of the items completed were knit, which was the socks, and one was crocheted, which was the baby blanket. Four of those were for gifts and three were for me. <laughs> All three of the ones for me were socks. So that is it for my March stats. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I don't think there was. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else. So that counts like all the grams added into my Cozy Memories, my Fingering Weight Jelly Roll, DK Weight Jelly Roll, all of those things, and Wyatt's sweater. So now I've got April's started ready to go over here. I'm still really enjoying tracking that, hoping to have a better month this month without than in, but I don't know with the addition of Piper how that is going to go. <laughs> we will see. I have been getting a decent amount of knitting time because you, puppies play hard and then they nap hard is my experience with all puppies at the age that she is at. So make her play hard and she's gonna nap hard and she for sure loves to nap and cuddle so I've been getting some work done on socks and I actually have done work on some other things as well when she's having a really good nap but if she's in like her I'm just tired and want to chill and chew on a bone it's socks all the way and she's doing so well she's really still not been that interested in the knitting and like I said last week if she is I just give her that Nyla bone and she she chews away on those. She loves them. Anyways, so now let's jump into 
finished objects. Like I said, I have two of them. The first one is my March Freckled Whimsy socks. This was the March Christmassy colorway for the Freckled Whimsy Christmassy Club. It is reindeer. Oh, I have the tag right here. I'm like, I didn't write it down. Reindeer Games. See that there? <laughs> it's fingering weight 7525. I did the heel toe dosi -si dough pattern. I'll take it off the blocker here in a minute so you can see the front. But I do the I get the sock set for this, so I get a mini and I do the mini for cuff and heel. I my goal is to do this for a full year at least and then have all heel toe dosi -si dough socks in Christmassy colorways for the month of December. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So let me show you what the front of this looks like in case you've never seen it before. I love, are you going to focus? I love this pattern for self-striping yarn. So, so pretty. So that's my only sock finished item. I also, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, that is a great place to stay up to date on everything that I am working on. It's a great place to get puppy updates. I have, I don't know. I think I've probably posted her every day. <laughs> and life updates, all the things. I post a lot in my stories more than on the grid, but it's a great place to stay up to date. I have had a lot of people ask, or like mention they would not ask, but mention in the comments last week that they would love to see like a day in the life vlog with a puppy. I don't know that I'm going to be doing many if any at all day in the life vlogs. I realize that might be so much of a disappointment to people that love them and I'm sorry but just at the point of life where I'm at and I just don't know that I'm going to be doing them anymore. The kids don't want to be in them and when I get that camera out they kind of scatter <laughs> and nobody in the house wants to be on them and I would rather have my kids in the room with me than pull the camera out and record for the day in the life and have them run and hide in their rooms. So just at this point in life, I don't know that I'm going to be doing them anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll change my mind or maybe next month I'll be like, I want to do a day in the life vlog and I'll record one. But as of right now, I don't know that there will be any more of those. So Instagram, I show little snippets of my day throughout the day usually. Um, so that's a great way to see what I'm up to. But that's the finished sock. Now... I finished something big. What I was saying was that if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this. It's still in its bag here, but it is done. I finished this yesterday. Piper was on my lap and she started to wake up right as I was kitchenering the border together. And I was like, oh, just let's just shove it back in the bag. We'll get it out when we record tomorrow. I finished my DK jelly roll. This is a pattern by Kay Jones, the jelly roll blanket. And for this one, I used, let's see, I wrote everything down. A US 5, 3.75 millimeter needle using fingering weight held double, which gives me kind of a DK gauge. And I used row one minis and some Patreon homespun house minis. I think I already said, but fingering held double. I just held them double with themselves from the inside and outside of the tiny little cake. <laughs> um... I did make quite a few modifications to the, the pattern and I have all of those listed on my Ravelry project page as well as the tutorial is linked for how I do my I-cord border. Have I covered everything? Oh, I didn't say. These. Backtrack real quick. Started these on March 25th, finished them on March 31st. And I used US1 2.25 millimeter needle. These, this blanket I started on March 28th of 2023 and I finished on April 3rd of 2024. So it took just over a year for me to do this blanket. And the way I was doing it was as I got Rowan minis in every month and I got Homespun House Patreon minis in every month, I tried to add them in within the month that I received them. So this is about, you know, a year's worth of row one minis for sure and almost a year's worth of homespun house patreon minis i didn't add there was like one month i think yeah i think it's just one month over there actually no it's two months that i didn't add um 
over there. I can't remember what the months were though. And then I think I stopped getting them in December. I decided to take a little break from some of the, the monthly things that I'm getting. But that's enough talk. Let's show the blanket. I have not measured this yet. I will say that. I have not laid it out to take a picture. Um, I just have not had a chance to do it, but I wanted to go ahead and show it since it is done. You know what? We're just gonna try to stand all the way back here so that maybe you can see more of it. So I will try my hardest. We've got a lot going on, but I will try my hardest to get a picture of this soon. I know people want to know what the measurements are. I will try to get that as well. Um, and I will put all that on the Ravelry Project page, but there's a little peek at it. The border turned out so nice. I'm so happy with that. For the border, I used Knit Picks I always want to say swish, but it's stroll. Knit pick stroll fingering. Held double. It's just white. Yeah, it turned out great. It is such a heavy, warm, cozy, squishy blanket. Definitely recommend fingering weight held double. My son is at Walmart right now. <laughs> I'm getting text. There's we'll talk in life stuff, but Austin is not going to school today because he is getting his wisdom teeth taken out later. And then on top of that, there's a two hour delay because of the sophomores taking tests. So all the other grades at the high school have a two hour delay. So it's like craziness around here this morning. It's craziness. All right. Works in progress. I think that's it for the blanket. If I forgot anything, it should be on the project page. Let me put this up though, actually. I'm just gonna toss it over here for now. On to the bed. See, I don't know what that was, but that was the progress keeper that I have not taken off of <laughs> the bag yet. All right, let's go ahead and show why it's sweater. It has really not had a lot of progress. I didn't touch this from, the last time I had touched it was Wednesday, and then I think I picked it back up and Monday was the first day I added in my four rows a day. So it had four days out of this week, this past week since you saw it last, that I did not touch it at all. <laughs> or actually, yeah, that would be, well, you saw it on Friday. But anyways, it doesn't matter <laughs> how many days. It just hasn't been touched in a while. Um, this is the, I really don't know which, I should look this up. Sovin by um, Megan Babin. Um, using Knit Picks Swish Worsted, Pinecone Heather. Okay, so you're going to see this for forever. So here is the back piece. I cannot wait to block this and see how much it grows because it's still like so squished in with all the cables, but I know it's going to bloom and grow. So I have only done that much. I am now in the yoke shaping. I did like underarm shaping and now I'm in yoke shaping territory. So we're doing decreases. Four rows a day. If Piper has a good nap, I get four rows a day in. And this is the back piece that I'm currently working on. So not much to show on that. Let's go ahead and move that marker up though because I don't move it now I will forget and the only other thing I've worked on oops, forgot to put my cable needle up the only other thing I've worked on is a pair of socks <laughs> this is what has gotten the most work done yesterday with that uh DK weight jelly roll I sat down Piper was having a great nap I sat down I saw I had a good chunk of the last side left and I was like I'm over this 30 minutes a day on this project I just want it to be done I want it off my needles I don't want to work on this anymore <laughs> so I just finished it off it was like a race against the end of nap time like I said it when she was waking up as I was kitchenering it so I finished it just in time I had time to weave in that ends the ends from the kitchenering and um or the well the start and the finish end but yeah and then be done and she was awake and ready to go so I was happy to have that off the needles now I'm 
d time, you know, depending on time and puppy and all the things, I'm still going to be doing Four Rose Day and Wyatt's sweater. And then I have my fingering weight jelly roll up there by the couch so that I can work on that as well as time allows. I would like to get 30 minutes in on that a day if I can, but we'll see. I'm just so glad to have that extra blanket that I was working on every day off my needles. I really still am enjoying not having many projects that I'm actively working on at once. It just, this phase in my life, especially now that we have the puppy, even before that I was enjoying it, especially now with the puppy, pare everything down, simple, only what brings me joy. <laughs> I just can't handle it. All right, so this is it. This is the only other thing I've worked on. It's in a bag by Three by the Sea Designs. It is Three by the Sea Designs yarn. Find the tag down in here. This bag is, it's a little too big for just a regular pair of socks, but I really wanted to use it. There's their tag and it is the Serene sock set. I have one of the socks done. This is the Serene socks also by three by the sea designs. There's the patterning. I just did it on the front, the pattern. I'm almost positive it has instructions for the front and the back. Oh, there's the ladybug. I did do a pop of color at the cuff. I have the tutorial for that linked on my Ravelry project page. I did 20 rounds total for the cuff, 70 for the leg. I got a little carried away. I normally, for mine, I like a 60 round. I don't know, I haven't done 70 rounds on my leg in ages. Um, I just got carried away. Then I did the contrast for the heel and the toe. And here's where I am on the second sock. So I do not have too much more to go. See all my markers over here. I do also have a tutorial for how and why I use all of these light bulb markers. The progress keeper I have on there is also from Three by the Sea. And I think I started these on Saturday. The day before Easter, maybe. I can't remember. I know I, I'm pretty sure I started them before Easter. The days are like a blur <laughs> right now. <laughs> but these will be getting some work today. I'm taking Austin later. He has his wisdom teeth out. So I'll be there for, I'm pretty sure they said it would be like an hour. So I will be there working away on socks in the waiting room. I am working these up on nine inch circulars. Didn't say that using a US zero two millimeter chow goo needle. And that's it for works in progress. Oh, no, my cozy memories. Let me go grab that really quickly and I will show you um, the nine squares that I added in in the month of March. All right, so my cozy memories is looking a little crazy right now. <laughs> If you've been here for a while, you know I start out with like four squares and they are all facing in different directions as far as the way the decreases are going. Um, you can see pictures of that on the Ravelry project page, I'm pretty sure. Um, that's not how the pattern's written. I do do it differently. I will not be doing it this way going forward because it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> but no real reason it's getting on my nerves. I think it's just because this is the, I have one finish that I did this way. I have a a fingering way he'll double one that I'm doing this way and then this one and I'm like I just want to go across the row and across the row and across the row. I'm over like the going in a circle and I'm just over it so I next one I start well I will start another one because this is one of my favorite projects ever but um I will not do it this way this pattern is the coziest memory by Kemper Ray this one is just fingering weight. I am using a 2.5 millimeter needle and I added nine squares. I have markers in all of those. I'll stand up here and show you. This is the center four and they are all going out in different directions. So there's like four different sections. 
So what I've started doing is I did all of the squares out to the side for one of the sections to start just working on like one section at a time so that now I can just, this is upside down actually from the way they go, but now I can just go across and work a row, a row, a row. <laughs> and then on this way, I'll start pick up stitches, pick up stitches and work the square that way and be able to do that section that way. So this, that's four squares that I added in. This one just got one. I need to add probably three more. I'm not sure exactly how big I'm gonna make this. So I'll probably just do four on each thing and then see if that's big enough. That one got one. This one got four. And that's all the squares I added in. So these are all, you'll recognize these if you've watched recent episodes. These are all yarns from socks that have been recently finished. So that's the update on that. I am, am I caught up? No, I have my Freckled Whimsy yarns to add in. But that's for, well actually no, I finished that in March, didn't I? So I didn't get completely caught up in March, but that's fine. <laughs> it's all right. Let's see, that's it for works in progress. We did do a giveaway on the last episode. Let me grab that yarn. For the Leap of Faith yarns, we have Pastures of Peace and Warm by the Fire. So the winner gets to pick which one they want. I am gonna put the comment up here on the screen of the winner. If this is you, please just get in touch with me at crazysocklady.podcast at gmail.com. I just need your shipping information and I need to know which one of these you would like to have and I will get that shipped out to you. Set these back over here. All right, I think that's it for her. No, it's not, no, it's not. We have mail, we have mail, there, there's mail. Um, so I think it was last episode when I showed the three by the seed, I talked about how I wished I would have gotten the yarn that is the mini skein, the butterfly garden colorway. Well, I went on the website, I think while I was editing. Oh, Austin's home. I might have to quit for a minute because he has a friend with him and the dogs are probably, well, a dog, Gracie. Gracie, Grandma Gracie, who's sassy as can be, is gonna bark. She won't do anything, but she will bark for sure. So we'll see, I'll probably have to pause. But I did go on to their Etsy shop and they still had Butterfly Garden. I'm pretty sure they had it in fingering and DK, but I decided to get DK because I had so much fun doing last month's Yarnable fingering held double using my DK pattern. I thought, let's just order a DK skein. So I did, there's their tag, is Butterfly Garden on their DK base. It is their Destin base, which is a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. So I'm gonna make DK weight socks, hopefully this month. I'll be making these in DK and then I have plans for two more with fingering held double. We'll see if they get done this month. Um, but that's, that's the plans I have right now. Oh, and then they sent this along. I didn't even, I totally forgot to use it. <laughs> but they're needle stoppers. I was gonna put it on my DK jelly roll, but I just didn't get to pull it out. So these will be ready for next Easter. I put them, I have a little bowl over there that has stuff like that. So I'm gonna set them over there to work on them or to use them next Easter season. I also got in the mail a mini skein set from Wooly Owl Fibers. This is her iced lavender cream oat milk matcha set. I'm guessing. Can you hear Gracie? Okay, I think she's done. Gracie is, she's a Pomeranian mix. 
thinks she has some chihuahua in her. We're not really sure, but that barking, we've never been able to get it to stop when someone comes over. She will like eventually stop, like she stopped now, but I think they went upstairs, so they're not in the same room. <laughs> and she only does it when company comes in the house. It does not matter if she knows them or not, she will bark. It's because she wants attention. As soon as someone pets her, she's like, okay, thanks goodness though okay anyways um this must be the names there are five names it must be the names of the colors so here's the tag and it's all minis look how pretty those are I love these so they are all on her platinum sock it is 75% superwash merino 25% nylon and she sent this over. This came in the P.O. box. So that was a nice surprise to get. I'm not sure if these will just be put into blankets or if maybe I'll do some scrappy socks with them. That would be fun. I still have those minis that my friend Jenny sent me in the bag upstairs ready to be started <laughs> into socks. So maybe this will go next in the scrappy sock line. Also in the P.O. box, I have one last thing to show um, from Barley Pearls. I, you guys know I've used their bags quite a few times. I love their bags. They sent me over two new project bags. They sent this one that is Guitar Picks. Why it's just gonna have, like I'm gonna have so many bags now to work on his socks with, but this one is so fun. I love all these different guitar picks and I love, so it's a boxed bottom. But then the top of it, I thought it was like when I got it, I was like, oh, it's like a snap bag because that was tucked inside. But I was like, wait, there's no snaps. And then I opened it. And this so just together like that. So it's super cute. I don't know anything about sewing a bag, so I don't know what, like, there's a name for this. But it's very cute. They have, I don't think you'll be able to see them, but there are pockets on the inside. And they have one of these rings. You could put scissors, stitch markers, progress keepers on. So this Wyatt, I don't have any socks for him on the go right now. And he's asked me to make him another pair. So that will be the bag that I use for that. And then they also sent me a football bag. So Cassie and James, my sister and her husband, their Green Bay socks are going to go in these or this when I start working on those for their Christmas gift. And then I'm just envisioning watching some football this fall using this bag for all the projects. Maybe some Musselburgh hats. I haven't made those in a while. Musselburgh hats. All right. That's it for mail. That's all we got. That's it for all the knitting. Now we'll just do reading, watching, life stuff if you're here for that. So reading, I'm still reading the same stuff. Still on the same books. Um, Sworn to Silence by Linda Castillo is what I'm reading on the treadmill. And I've been running again. So right now I'm just running a mile um, to get back into it because I don't know why I ever stop. And like, I'm just going to walk. And then I miss running. And then when I start running, I'm like, why did you quit? You love it. <laughs> so I'm back to running just a mile to get me back into it. Um, and also because of Piper, the puppy, I have to like go for a run, get a shower, get ready for the day. Like everything has to be done a little quicker now. So um, that's just getting a little bit of time in the morning on the treadmill. And then I'm reading for bed at night. It starts with us by Colleen Hoover. And I am about three fourths of the way done with that. So that will probably be done next week when I record. Still watching the same things as well. The Chosen and Survivor. We are almost done with The Chosen. I know we're on the last season that's out like streaming. I think the, yes, the fourth season, I think it is out in theaters right now. So yeah, so reading and watching the same things. Life stuff, life stuff. Puppy's still going great. She's as cute as can be. Still working on crate training, potty training, all the things that you work on with a 11. Oh wait, she's 12 weeks old today. We think, we're guessing on the birth date according to like some stuff in the paperwork, if I didn't say that last <laughs> week, but um, she's 12 weeks old today. So yeah, still working on all the things. She's cute as can be. The cats steer clear of her. I had a lot of people ask what the cats think. They kind of steer clear. They steer clear of all the dogs, really. They're not like cuddly and buddy-buddy with them. 
no. But yeah, everything's going great with the puppy. Austin gets his wisdom teeth out today. It was supposed to be, we like, the appointment has been moved so many times. It was supposed to be at 7.30, then they moved it to 2.30, then they said they had a cancellation, would we want to come at 12.30, and now they've bumped it to 12.50. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, my planner is like, where I have it written out, just like a lot of like, things scratched out in different times, and so hopefully it will happen at 12.50 or around about there today. He's ready. He's fasting this morning. Hopefully that happens today. The kids have, yeah, I already said they have a two hour delay anyways today. He's not going, but Wyatt has a two hour delay. So I have to go wake him up here shortly today and tomorrow they have a two hour delay. So that threw a little kink in the plans. Cause I'll be honest, I didn't read the email where they said that. <laughs> so this morning Austin's like, can I go pick up my friend and hang out with them for a bit this morning since they have a two hour delay? And I'm like, I was outside with the puppy and I'm like looking around and I'm like, why do, why do we have a two hour delay? Why didn't I get a phone call about a two hour delay? It's not even doing anything. The weather's fine. It's just full. We had snow flurries this morning and I said, why do you have a two hour delay? I don't see anything on the wet, on the Instagram for the school. And he's like, it's because of testing. I'm like, why do you not know this mom? And I'm like, I dropped the ball this week. I looked and I did have an email about it. I just, I was going to get Wyatt up. I was about to go upstairs and wake him up. So I dropped the ball this morning on that. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, now I've got to, thankfully Eric is home today. He took the day off because of Austin's wisdom teeth removal. Just in case, you know, we do, he took, he had taken the day off before Piper, but now it's like, okay, thankfully if it runs long or something, he'll be here with Piper. Um... So yeah, thankfully he's home today. He's on puppy duty right now. I was like, I like this threw my whole morning off that there's a two hour delay now. I thought I would get Wyatt out the door, get all my stuff done, then take Austin to the oral surgeon. But yeah, so Eric's got the puppy handling all of that. And I, my panic calmed and I've had enough time to get all of my stuff done, thankfully. <laughs> Gotta love when you, you don't read the school emails. They send out so many sometimes that they slip through the cracks and that one did. Why it would not have been happy. <laughs> and for one, why didn't either of my kids let me know that there was a two hour delay? Neither of them said a word until Austin said that this morning. So that's kind of all that's going on around here. Oh, I had a lot of people reach out and say they hope we were okay with all the storms, you know, cause there was all the stuff on the weather channel. I mean, I, we were seeing it everywhere too locally and it was on the weather channel and about the chance of severe storms all across Ohio. Um, we didn't really get anything. We had a little bit of thunder in the morning, some rain, few rumbles of thunder when they were saying it was going to get bad and that was it. So we didn't get anything here. I love a good thunderstorm. I didn't want anything like crazy, obviously, but I would have loved a good storm and we didn't, we didn't get anything. <laughs> um, but I know some people got really bad stuff. So I am thankful everything had calmed down and there wasn't any damage or anything like that. But I think that's it. I think that's all I've got today. I've got half an hour. I'm going to get working on editing this, get wired up and moving and get this crazy day a going. I did, so many of you said to have Austin eat some pineapple and drink some pineapple juice or, you know, like one or the other a combination. So he did eat some pineapple and drank the juice last night before he went to bed because you said it helped with swelling. So I figured, hey, why not? Let's give it a go. So many of you recommended that, that I thought it must, this must be a thing. If so many people are saying it helped them, we're, we're doing it. So hopefully he has a smooth time of it over the next couple of days. He's got, I mean, obviously he won't go to school today or tomorrow. And then I think he took off work for five days and that's what's bothering him the most is that he will not get to work. He loves to work. <laughs> um, so I think he's off for five days, which I'm glad either way, hopefully he's feeling fine, but I'm glad he has Monday off because I'm sure y'all have seen the, the eclipse is on Monday and we are in the path of totality. So they are saying it is going to be insane around here. 
as far as traffic and with everyone coming into town, like the towns along the path to see the eclipse. Um, so I'm glad he has the day off. Eric has a day off. We'll all be home. We are not leaving our house. <laughs> I am not going out in all of the traffic. No, thank you. So I'm glad everybody will be home on that day and not have to be stuck in traffic somewhere. But okay, as always, we get to the point where I get rambly if I start talking about too much life stuff. So I'm going to end it here and I will see you all next week. But I hope that you are doing well. Hope you get lots of knitting done. Until the next time I see you, happy making. Bye.